Hello, hi there Lee Felicity, hope that you're well, welcome to my channel. My name is Bella, most people know me as Bella the Secret Psychic and this is your love horoscope for April 2018. Welcome, welcome, do hope that you're all super well. Um, just to let you know before I crack on with my reading, a couple of things, if you'd like to know more about me and my services or perhaps join my Facebook page where I give free daily guidance, the links are just down below <laughs> as well. Um, also, also, if you're watching me for the first time, I work psychically, so I work with my spirit guides, work intuitively to give you a general overall theme about how you can navigate through the month when it comes to your love life also too. And as most of you know who do watch me and you do subscribe, um, I don't hang about, so let's uh, go in with what I'm being shown when it comes to your romantic endeavours this month. Um, first of all, my guide saying for some of you Libras, last month you had a bit of a surprise, not a nice surprise when it comes to your love life that kind of really shook some things up. Now, it wasn't all Libras, and it split this reading a little bit. <laughs> if, if you were one of the Libras where you had that surprise, my guides are asking you to consider looking at everything. And this says carefully because I don't want it to come out as shifting blame. But it kind of is like that. Um, my guides are saying here, sometimes we can tell ourselves that it, everything is the other person. And sometimes what is it that we're not seeing in the changes that we need to make and the priorities that we are making or the expectations that we have that perhaps need to change to fix something whether it's because you want to be with somebody or to help you in, in a future connection. So if you had a sh shock last month, consider all angles. Consider where they had faults, but also consider yours because it takes two to tango, all right? And when you can do that, should you want to try to remedy that situation and we'll get to that in a minute it will be done far better and go far more the way you want if you can look at it from all perspectives and take some responsibility where it's applicable to make the changes that will make things happier and healthier because they will do the same too it cannot be all one way even if they did something diabolical it's so hard to explain that because there'll be so many people watching again. No, they, they cheated on me. I didn't have to do anything wrong. My guides are saying here, it doesn't matter what it is. Look at all perspectives because it will help you to solve in the future. I.e., if you want to get back with them and they cheated, what is it? Why was that? Most people cheat because they feel like they're not getting something from a relationship or they're or because they have an actual problem with, you know, narcissism or, um, you know, addiction to, to that kind of stuff. But most of the time it's because people feel uncertain or because they're needing something. So what is it they, they, wasn't, need, they wasn't feeling certain or needing from you? What can you do to change that should you want to have that back? Well, it's practical. Obviously, if they're narcissists, narcissists that might be impossible. And you might have to accept that actually it wasn't. Anyway, I'm trying to, I'm trying to help <laughs> with explaining probably really badly, but... I have to give you what my guides are giving me. If you didn't have that experience where it was, you know, it was, it was relatively okay. Um, you Because we are in this kind of very dodgy retrograde energy, which brings up old wounds that exaggerates our fears when it comes to love and the way we communicate with people. You do actually have a lot of power to manifest things by changing your thought form. So the theme is kind of the same. It's kind of like shift your mindset out of anything negative or pushing one way to what can I do to look at this as a solution focused problem or differently? How can I how can I manifest this to be much more positive will help you in the energies that we have for the first couple of weeks while we're still in this retrograde that is working hand in hand with Chiron, which is the wounded warrior, which brings up rawly wounds that we need to heal which is why some of you had the surprise last month when it was in the shadow aspect so i get here some of you though it's a really hard one because i get here it's quite i need to untangle this a little bit because 
I kind of want to focus still a little bit on those who had the experience because it's saying here some of you are just feeling really like you had a loss, a bereavement, a grief. But it, it I have to strongly also say here it can be resolved. Hence why they had their first suggestion. So I'm going to go to them like everybody else in a minute. But if you had that situation, you can resolve this. But the strongest message I'm getting about how to resolve this is to look within and to take some responsibility. And I'm sorry to be the messenger, so don't kill me. But that's how you get what you want if you want that situation back in a happy place. And I say that with love. Right now, for everybody else, because my guys kind of wouldn't let me shift past that until I got that out. So for everybody else, how you start your um, your 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 month, really, apart from that kind of just being aware of that boggy energy, is some of you will have got some trips, planning, going away. So there's a bit of separation between you and uh, the person that you are um, in a connection with. I do get here that there's a lot of focus, again, for some of you on money more than romance. Be aware of that because the other person in this energy will, will think that you're ignoring them and it, but it may display in you having your own shocking experience so just be mindful of that distance and you focusing so much on work get the balance right um but i do get here that you, some of you will be getting into commitments with people so the first couple of weeks i get here that um you, there's negotiations so that there's like you're you officially become a couple or you officially buy a mortgage or you officially are getting married some of you this month also as well those are good things i get here mainly about in the way that you like you're going to be gaining lots of things but the gain i need to explain this really really well because what this particular energy that's been going on right now, it is so about not being stuck in the material or the tangible. It's got to be about the feelings, the respect, the love. That has to be a little bit of a priority because if not, the, the, it has a knock-on effect onto the things that you think are material and, and everything else. You know, what's that saying? Um, you know, the heart is where the home is or something is you know everything is right if the foundations is, is all right if you have if you if something goes dreadfully wrong in your love life you know think about it, we've all been there when we've been so heart heartbroken we don't want to eat we don't want to go to work we don't want to function we don't want to go to class it has a knock-on effect so the priority that has to be taken care of that's how it's coming across and then everything else goes fine and the reason I say that is because even though there's success and I get too much Libras about you guys being distracted by money and past relationships and um, fun and independence and instead of perhaps the person that you want to be with needs more from you. Or not necessarily more, just needs you to get the balance right. And think about Libras, you're the king and queen of, of balance. If things are out of balance, then they become out of balance for you. So, I don't know. How I, how I want to say this is, that how this started, is if you can keep a balanced perspective, which is your skill, to, to when you think one way, to always think of another to make it your manifesting or your mantra, your affirmation this month, to, 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 to almost make sure that even though it's always lovely to make sure we're doing things to fill our light, to keep it at a high vibration, it cannot be at the expense of somebody else or the expense of the one thing that you hold dear. If it, if it holds dear to you and you want a relationship, hence why you're here watching this video, then then give it the balance in the right way or be single libra because that would solve the problem wouldn't it <laughs> and in fact i think if you're a single libra and you're wanting to be single you're probably not here because you're wanting um to be independent and freer and to be able to focus on focus on that stuff and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that but if you're here because you want a love connection or you want somebody back or you want to fix whatever happened to you with somebody the advice is balance balance perspective expectations 
taking some of the responsibility, not saying all of it, the same taking, taking what you need to, to be able to remedy it means you have a better connection. And even if you didn't have a dodgy connection, it's still, it's still coming up as being important. You have to keep the balance good, fair and right. Otherwise, resentment will build. It might not have happened to you now, but it could be that you're the other set of Libras later on down the road that I'm saying, gosh, what happened? Broke up. So, hmm, it's an interesting one because it's all about your perspective and how you how and how much you learn about responsibility, which when we're in a relationship, that's the commitment party that we're having, that we will, in a way, we've chosen to make sure that that person is that we've chosen them to be in our lives so if we've chosen that libra what my guides are saying here is do that in a really balanced fair way in the way you guys do it so beautifully and brilliantly so that's a bit of a deep one guys <laughs> i really hope that's helped you today if you need to untangle that a little bit more about your own personal circumstances and how that best works for you then um Again, you might want to have a private reading and the link is to sound below. I think you guys have got this in the bag because like I said, you, you're you the king and queen of balance. And for those of you who really want to have a connection back with somebody, really think about all perspectives, including yours and how you play a part in the situation will help you. 100% if you want the connection back. So I hope that's helped you lovely Libras today. I will be back next month. I hope to see you there. Do subscribe so that you learn more about it. And um, I will see you again next month. Take care. Bye.